welcome back you guys um, we're just clearing out some stuff around here uh, I did make this crusher dealy doesn't work that well but it does kind of reliably transfer them up there as long as I cover this stuff up I'll have to replace the glass with something more compact uh, or well <laughs> something less transparent and um, so I don't have to have all this ugly dirt here and I'm thinking about it about how to do this the side of this thing because I don't want it to just be like big cave thingy. I think you know even though a spawner is kind of like a technical thingy it should look kinda cool. I'm not gonna use too much time dealing with that but I do want it to uh, kinda at least look decent. It doesn't look have to look that good but as long as it looks decent, I'm, I'm fine with that. So, uh, let's see here. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't get much help from the thing with the corners. Um, yeah, the corners. <laughs> thing is, two of the corners of a spawner, they can spawn in... Um, wide thingy um, in one direction they can spawn three blocks away and um, the other they can spawn two blocks away or well two and two of course but uh, that didn't help us that much we still have those two and this is actually spawnable space but since our tunnel goes over here I don't want to use it and well we are kind of sacrificing a bit of efficiency but I don't think it's too much as well it's going to be probably be quite efficient anyway what I'm wondering about here though is the lighting because I'm betting lighting in here I can probably hide that a bit so let's see if we do like one here and one here we do need some light in this wall too yeah do it like this for now and guess one right here too oh. something like this I guess and some of the access to this area too maybe not the most efficient way of doing this but uh, no no that's fine that's fine we're, we're good this one up though so they don't start tracking me again. Oh wait, yeah. Then I know there's something more behind here. I'm kind of cramped in here. That's uh, always a good thing. Yeah. This is just backside. Yeah, perfect. So I don't want to wire this thing around here, so we're probably going to just do the wire this way, I guess. Let's see. Guess that will work, right? Uh, we'll find out, I guess. And here, of course, we have to do this thing. Too, so it's kind of I should probably get my inventory sorted before I do this, but uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's see, go out there, back in here. Just go around that thing. Hopefully, we'll get this connected to the other switch, so we can just do like one switch here. Probably need another repeater soon. We can just put it here. Yes. Yeah, like the same trick around here 
to just put it here, I guess. Yeah. So, I just got a new microphone. You might have noticed that the sound is a bit different, and that's that's why. Uh, look what's done to this is actually quite perfect. I just connect this and be done. And that should actually automatically light up a lot of this stuff. So yeah, I've got a new microphone. Uh, I actually went ahead and worked myself like a um, Blue Yeti, I think they're called, yeah. Blue uh, Microphone Systems or something like that is the company and uh, it's the Yeti. Not the pro version, just an uh, ordinary boring one, but it's... It, it is actually quite nice. Uh, I have tested it just a bit. Uh, I did have some problems with the audio, uh, but uh, I think I were, was able to kind of sort it out. Oh, so close. Yeah, that's it. Oh, good, good. This lights up. Not sure how to do this the best way, actually. Uh, hmm. This is this is spawnable space. I can't really have it open either. Hmm, That's not good, is it? Because if you put it right in there, it's bad. Let me start out here. I know I should use my go back to the fortune pick on this, but uh, right now uh, I do have enough redstone, really. So this is behind the electricity. Yes, yeah. um, I think this is light enough. I'm, I'm not sure. But I think so. So we're going to put some of our valuables back here, I guess. So we don't lose them. And uh, I don't know, guys. Hopefully this will be fine. Uh, just put some stuff away. Need some stuff. We need lots of stuff. Yeah. Oh. We need to go to run the fuck out. First test should probably be just removing all the torture torches from the innermost one. Because if they start spawning then we do need to light it up better. I don't want anything spawning while the lights are on. That would be bad. So let's just step back here. I think this area should be safe. Yeah. 
And I think this is good. This looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's try this one just to remove all the torches. And if nothing spawns, then we know that we're kind of safe here. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It's too dark. Kind of in between here. So we might have to put another one. Stop it. Maybe if we put one right here, that will help. Let's just, let's just go around and do that while we can reach out. Because it stopped spawning when I. <coughs> sorry. It stopped spawning when I put that thingy there. So. Uh, This is not really fancy and cool redstone, not at all, it's quite ugly actually, but it should do the job and that's, uh, that's probably, the, probably the most important part here. So let's put this, back, this stuff back and, <laughs> oh man, it's probably doing this again. Hopefully that's enough, if it's not, well, almost tempted to say that as long as the spawn rate when it's kind of sort of idle as long as the you know it's still possible to maintain this thing uh, maybe I shouldn't be too concerned so I think there's a half slab, half slab there and I should be able to push the guys through with just a stone slab instead of that thing in there Check that out, of course. But this, yeah, here this should pull them right in there. And these guys should not be able to get them back out. That's good. That's good. Very good. <coughs> Let's do this and see the glory of our super spawn rates. After this. Yep, that matches up fine. They can still come jump out, but they will be generally pulled in that direction. So I don't think it's optimal, but I'm not going for optimal here. Um, I have five of these things, and with the new XP rates, but I think it's fine. So let's do this. Uh, oh, they can still get through there, can't they? Okay, that will be our marker. There's still some leakage. I think they're spawning in here, actually. Even though it's lit up, I think they're spawning right, in, right there or something. Because this wants to close or something like that. Something's wrong here. Maybe there's just some guys stuck in there. But let's see here. Yeah, they should start spawning quite fast. Right in here, too. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Quicker than I was expecting. problems with this corner thing. You might have to make it like too wide and then from the back or something. Uh, I'm not sure. But they are able to get through there, but only when they're kind of following me. Guess I'm just um, see. Come on guys. Stuff in that, but 
after a while, I should be able to just one hit these guys and get massive amounts of XP. Grab some more of them. I'm kind of worried about is them getting stuck somewhere. Pressure technology is working, but the smaller technology is working as well. Okay, this is a good start though. This is a good start. Uh, I, I do think I need a small break now, and I'm going to fiddle around with this, with this a bit more to see if I could kind of identify any bottlenecks or stuff like that. Because seem to be moving around, but at some point they seem to get stuck, and I do hear some of those guys dying, so I see maybe they're just all stuck in this corner. Just, yeah, there's a lot of them here, and uh, they're kind of getting stuck, it seems like. Yeah, they're getting stuck right here. Flow, but I think I need to start, need to start using stairs instead of half slabs. Uh, oh, I'm using stairs there. Hmm. Well, might have to look some stuff up on YouTube. I don't like doing that, but um, come to me, my praise. Good, in there. Climbing the assholes, just back down here. Yeah. I need to make like a console with two buttons on the side or something instead. Then it's a time of stuff, but I don't know where to put it. I might just have to put like two lines up somewhere and then back down, or I don't know, just put it somewhere else. It's not a big circuit, so it shouldn't be too bad. I think a fair amount of this keeping this thing already done. Right, I'm gonna take a break here, guys. And, uh, I'm gonna have to look some stuff up, see if I can figure out how to make this thing more efficient. And we'll be right back. And see you guys soon. Okay, we're back, and I think I figured out what was wrong. Um, might have. I haven't tested this yet, but we'll see quite soon. I redid this turn here because, and I made it flat, so the turn should be simple to get around, and then they start climbing because I had a lot of space here, so why not? Uh, hopefully, they'll get over here at least. Let's see. Let's just wait for them for a while. I'll take a sip of my coffee. Alright, come on guys. Come on guys. Hmm. Still looks like they're getting stuck somewhere. I'm not sure where. Is it stuck there? Oh yeah, there's so many. Maybe I should do something with that corner. Um, but this one is tracking me right now. I should be able to get around this corner quite easily. Even though they're fighting the current, they will eventually go around there. And they should be able to get back up here quite nicely. 
Yeah, it looks good. That's cool. This spot though, I don't know if this one will get spots. I might have to do something about this kind of drop sound because it's we're not dropping. I might make it make them go quite a bit higher up before I drop them and then drop them like that. Because I think they start climbing if they're they just have to climb a three or four, I guess. Let's see. Maybe five or six tall, they might not be fine. So we'll see. I am going to have to make like another lane under here. I'm gonna connect this way to this intersection, but I can have actually behind my old console thing here, and I can actually move that a couple more blocks, but not too much. So that will kind of mess things up. What I might want to do here is just make like one more block up here, and then one more block. <laughs> yeah. So let's see here. Yeah. This, I think if I kind of just abruptly drop them and drop them five or six blocks or something, that might help. So I think I'll just. Uh, I think this drop is not enough. I might just experiment a bit by dropping them. Bit lower here and just standing below to see what happens. So uh, uh, I think I'll just do that and I'll be right back. Right, so I'm just a bit lower here. Uh, no, they're still climbing. Um, but they're actually taking damage when they're falling too, so I can. Well, I guess really. For some reason, they want to stay down there because they don't have a path to get to me out here, which in itself is a good thing, but uh, I would rather just have them down here. It almost looks like they would be out if they... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Might have to go a bit lower, let's just quickly try it out. Just a bit, a bit looks lower. Now, I'm not even sure if this is what we need to do at all. Uh, again, I haven't really experimented with these guys before, so I'm not really sure. But let's see what happens if you drop them this far. I'm just stay down here. Doesn't seem like they want to drop at all. That's the problem right now. And they just stay up there. And I'm not sure what to do with it. And then they eventually drop and... Yeah, no, this, this isn't good. I might just have to kind of redo my tactics here. Oh, that's I thought. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, to go to this remote for this, but I, I, I really don't think I can do that, I would do it. In my opinion, that's not that cool. I will just have to... Problems are, at least I can reach them. I mean, maybe 
I just need to focus on getting the lion down here. <laughs> just focus on quantity over quality. So, but now the system is open, of course, so they can track me. And that's uh, it's not optimal because they die here. Try to get to me. Right before. Press this back up. They shouldn't be able to track me because they won't be able to pathfind to me and then they just kind of give up on life, I think. But if I'm up here, they let's see here. Yeah, they get. Oh, wow. That's a lot of those fuckers. Get around there. Might have to do something with them in that corner because it is not working like I intended. Uh, let's, let's just do this for now. Just see. When I post it up, it actually started working better, it seems. So there's a lot of these guys in there. But I might actually have to just move myself one block up. And then the pressure won't work. So, uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just use potions instead. Like, throw them my uh, dark planet potion and then, like, Poison potion or something like that. And uh, that's it. The other spawner is also. And the other, other grinder is also like a potion based one, so it doesn't bother me too much. Hmm. We have gotten a decent amount of XP kind of freaks me out right now is that well, even though this thing is one is empty and it's probably quite accurate there too there's still a lot of noises there might be some dead space where they're they are spawning or something because this tunnel has none or what hey guy you're gonna die aren't you you're gonna die on me that's not good that's not good at all. Yeah, because even though they can't track me, and they, they shouldn't be able to spawn anywhere. Right in here, there shouldn't be any guys in here. No one's stuck in there either. This one is actually very well tested. This one though. Yeah, there's no guys in here either. That means that they're down in the shoot somewhere, right? Yeah, they're stuck on there. But why are they stuck on there? Oh, because that's... if I can fix this. Yeah, so I fixed it. Uh, the water was actually running the wrong, the wrong way here. So that's probably it. I'll just come on for a second here and just see that they are going to get up there and they are gone. Temporarily kind of wrong. space for this one but as long as it's lit up here yeah, it should be fine. So now at least we shouldn't get any noises around here when we have deactivated the spawners. They should all eventually end up in here. Yep, yeah, they are. This is kinda looking up. This is this is good. This is an improvement at least. I still have a lot of work to do with the uh, killing thingy. But at least there's hope, you know. I was being afraid that something was broken. Something was. I was afraid of something that something got really fucked up at some point. That's actually what I was saying. Uh, 
But I feel that I've been just messing around here for quite a while now. Uh, I am kind of tempted to just end the episode here and I'll have to figure out some more kinks and I'll have to kind of encase these two guys too and get them active, kind of make them work with this thing. And when we have the whole transport situation up and running, well, I'll be back with a new episode where we build our pressure mechanism because this is just temporary, this is just for testing, so I have something to kill them with. And yeah, it seems like it kind of emptied out well. Almost. I might have to do something with the turn down there because this turn is also one of those turns that kind of pushes them up while turning. turning and I could probably move this one more and then I'll just kind of move. Yeah, I'll probably do that because I think this corner is creating some problems. But that's actually. The episode, guys. That's actually the whole episode. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll I'll see I'll see you guys the next episode. That's, uh, this is just fun. So uh, it's kind of good to be back. Uh, of course, th this is this episode is going online way way after I actually get my internet back on because I have like five episodes. Ready right now. I was supposed to get my internet back on the second, and if you've been following my uh, my uh, YouTube feed, I, you can see that I posted a few uh, messages just explaining that well, the ISP kind of fucked up, and I might get in, back into some ranting about that in a later episode, but I don't feel like talking about it right now because it's now it's 20th, it's two days until we get our. Uh, Internet. Uh, oh man, I'm so sick of waiting. So I don't know when this is going online, but I might just post my episodes like one a day, just for a week, just to get back on track. So this might actually just be a week from now. And uh, yeah, that's the episode, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll have some more fun with this blue poisonous spidey bastards and uh, yeah have a good one